I counted, 22 women were in this one holding cell. It was about, I tried to measure it. It was something like 18 by eight feet. And the first six feet were like little toilet and restroom area. So it was even shorter than that. With just metal benches across the three sides. And that was it. And there were 22 women. So women, the night before they had done it, last night they did it and they're gonna do it again tonight. They were sleeping on the floor. No mattress, no nothing, dirty floor, just sleeping on the floor or trying to sit and sleep on the benches. I mean, it was like, it's unbelievable. I, I can't believe it that constitutional. It's, it was pretty outrageous. I mean, I, I couldn't sleep. Most people probably tried to sleep a little bit. And... I met several people who had been up for three days straight. Yeah. There was nowhere to sleep. Um, I didn't sleep. I hear lots of stories of people who are in this jail when they have a court date somewhere else and instead of taking them to the court date, they lock them away and charge them with failure to appear. Wow. And, and that wow. happens all the time to the men. I've I heard over four of these stories between these two visits. You hear a lot of um, people screaming for attention because they're not getting it and banging Austerly on the windows and doors of the, and usually they get like put someplace else because they're being pained, so they put in isolation somewhere. Um, but yeah, but why are people doing that? Because things are happening. They need First, medicine. They need yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. The staff is so incompetent. Or even in